Hi guys, so today I have some exciting nail mail for you. The lovely people at Born Pretty Store asked me if I'd like to do some more reviews for them, so they have sent me this for a review. So these are the things that I picked out. I went a bit stamping plate mad as you can see here. And the other item I got was this cuticle oil. I wanted to keep it in this just to show you how it arrived so you can see how well packaged it is. So you don't have to worry about if an accident happens and it gets you know burst along the way, it's going to be sealed in a polythene bag as well. That is the code number you can search if you want to find this cuticle oil. There is different scents and as you can see here I have gone for the peach. So this is a really, <laughs> really nice set of packaging with it as well, I can't you know, stress that enough. So you've got the nice box packaging and you open it up to see it like this. And once more, as you can see, it is completely sealed as well. And it's one of these that's like the pen, so you can pop it in your handbag and you know it's one that you twist the end and you get the, the scent out on it. Just gonna take this cellophane off and have a look at it. So that is it there. So there's enough um, showing at the bottom, so when that starts to run out you're obviously going to see it at the bottom here. You've got the nice brush applicator and as you can see there is oil in it at the moment. I'm not going to put it on my nails because I am, as you can see it, they're naked right now and I'm about to paint them. So that is it. That's got a really really nice scent as well, as I said I've picked the um, peach one and there is other scents you can certainly choose from. So the next items I chose were stamping plates and then this one that I'm quite excited to show you about that I'm going to do last. So this one here, first of all, if you can hopefully see most of the patterns, I'm sorry that it is reflecting my tripod. This one is unicorn based, so you can see there's lots of different types of unicorns, there's flowers, there's like roses really big image plates to smaller ones to these sort of full nail ones. If you've got smaller nails, they're not big enough for, um, certainly not my thumbnail anyway, I would be able to cover my pinky with it. But I'm really excited to use this one. The second stamping plate I chose was this water marble one. Now I know a lot of people struggle to do actual water marbles, so I thought getting this one and showing how we got on with this, it might make it easier for people that you know do struggle to do water mar marbles. So you can see that there is once more different sized images. So these ones wouldn't work so well, obviously, like on my thumbnail, a very large thumbnail, but I would get away with it on, you know, my pointer or my pinky. And there's loads of different patterns in this. You've got the swirls, you've got sort of drawn into me like star shape, you've got just random shapes. Over here, you've got a slightly larger one. So this one, of course, would fit my thumbnail. And then you've got these ones as well. So this one, once more, that would fit sort of any size of nail. And then these ones are just like, if you want to do like a half pattern on the side of your nail, or that one would look really, really nice at the bottom of your nail. So I'm looking forward to trying these out as well. And this one in here is, this is the first I've ever seen of this. It is called a stamping guide. So once more you get to pick different shapes. The one I've chose, this is um, number two. So there will be different ones. And what the idea is, you obviously put your polish onto your stamping plate, you scrape off the excess. Before you use your stamper to pick it up, I'll use this one as an example, you place the shape that you want to use, so just say you want to use this triangle one, you would place it over the top of this design, so that then when you use your stamper, it's going to pick up only the image in this chosen shape. So it's just a different way to do, you know, some more unusual nail art using different techniques. I just think it's a really, really cool idea. So I'm looking forward to using this one. I do have a 10% off code down below that you guys can um, use as well. So be sure to use that if you're on the website. It's down below. Thank you so much once more to Born Pretty Store for sending me these items and be sure to watch out for my tutorials coming using these very soon.